Now, so myself and Ziggy had promised and were going to do a video on the Rymex C2 event and we were going to be going over basically how to work your way through it based on what we know from the global event. But there isn't much point in talking about this in regards to the way it was on the global version because this immediately hits paywalls on day one. And yeah, myself and Ziggy said we were going to get together instead and do a video on just the way this event has turned out at the very, very start, uh, which will be exactly how far people can pay without getting their wallets out and kind of go into it a small bit in terms of the, um, yeah, what's gone on so far and what our advice is going to be in terms of what you should do for this event. Um, now, I will just say again, before I get started on this, thank you very much for joining me for a chat on this one because i really feel like me ragging on game loft twice in the same week for a scammy event is gonna come off kind of badly on my part so uh yeah you could do some of that as well now ziggy so thank you for that and also guys who are watching uh yeah thank you very much for all the people who have subbed to my channel i know i've been really quiet this week that's because work has been absolutely crazy getting ready for christmas and also christmas has been pretty crazy getting ready for christmas so i haven't been as um visible on here as much as i would have liked to have been but i did just want to say thank you very much for all the people who subbed and yeah hopefully we can get through this event without costing too much money yeah so happy to be here once again and fade the heat a little bit for you with your criticism but uh um could you could you have anything other than criticism for this event where no you drive not <laughs> Yeah, you drive effectively like 10 minutes down the road in this and hit a massive paywall. And yeah, we have some information as well, courtesy of Curator from Dragon Rampage on this regarding what's kind of down the road after this first paywall. I'll give you a hint. It's more paywalls. <laughs> but yeah, just in terms of the way the event is right now and definitely just um, digging in myself here. We just want to kind of try and save people some cash and try and get the most out of this event while seeing what's going to probably change with it i'd imagine based on what we've seen in the first day um that's kind of the way i'm looking at this anyway uh ziggy i'd imagine you're more or less the same right so we are still kind of waiting to see um from the initial players who took the plunge on spending the ten dollars that you need to get over the initial hurdle what future hurdles they're going to encounter and it's not going to take us too long to figure that out because each um, new set of stages opens up each day. Uh, all the stages will be open by the end of one week. And then the event's going to run for another 30 days. So we're going to have a pretty good picture of what this looks like well before the event ends. And that's why I would kind of caution people from jumping in uh, too quickly and take a bit of a wait and see approach here and just see what happens. But uh, right off the bat, you play uh, kind of the opening prologue stage, and then you get into the Mountain Cat 1 stage. And the car uh, is the Furai, and it's free try. Uh, you can use it ha hazard level three, which is the most efficient way to play this event um, without going into too much detail. Hazard level two and hazard level one are kind of useless. Um, you yeah, have to play way too many races. Yeah, when you say it's the most efficient way, um, if you haven't gotten started on this one already, like, we were working out for a 10 pack of the um blueprints for the uh, mazda furoi yeah you would need to do around 100 plus races for them with the syndicate coin operator at the moment so yeah 100 plus races to open one 10 pack which will probably have one blueprint which you need 30 blueprints for so 100 times 30 is yeah an insane amount that nobody wants to do <laughs> yeah and um a lot of us who did kind of follow what happened in the global version of this event you know right off the bat that the uh sc rates the the sc currency that you get from this event um it's been significantly nerfed compared to version uh it's as little as one twentieth the rewards that you would typically be receiving. So, uh, and not only that, but there was a relay offer that was available for them uh, very early on on day one, where you could uh, exchange tokens for syndicate coins to at least 
get the Mazda unlocked, where we currently don't have that available at all. The only way to unlock this car right now is to pay ten dollars. There is no or ten euros. There is no other. Um, it's a cash option or nothing. So before you can even get out of that first stage, because to play any of the pin missions requires that car at one star and unlocked, uh, you need to plunk down the $10. Now, we kind of talked about this a little bit in that, you know, I don't necessarily inherently have a problem with charging $10 if that's the only cost and they're upfront about it. But the situation currently is that you pay $10 and there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get paywalled again. And um, this kind of goes back to the information that Curador has been passing along because he did drop down the $10 and then some uh, to start up the, the Mazda and progress through the event further in. But, you know, if you look at the rates of the premium currency that he's been able to earn, it does look like at a certain point without further investing in premium currency, he would get stuck if, if not on the Shelby, then on the Corvette. Unless again, syndicate coin rates significantly increase in the later stages, but we don't know that yet. And that's kind of the problem. But it's like the, the nerf rate to them is crazy right now. It's nearly, like we were saying, it's pretty much pointless to do some of those races. You're getting like six and like eight syndicate coins from events and you need 5,000 to open a 10 pack of cards. And you need 5,000 to open the first packs of cards. So by the time you're talking about getting that new Corvette or the Shelby, like you're possibly looking at, you know, tens of thousands to open a single thing. If you're asking players to race like 100,000 times to get a single 10 pack of cars using this uh, metric, just it's nonsense. Um, Now, one of the other things you said there as well is about the fact of like, those paywalls and uh, like what we just said before we started to record this was a case of right so the first paywall draft we're setting immediately is 10 euro and i was just would said like remember the jesco like back when the jesco was in uh the paywalls for that event started off at the 10 to 20 euro that you needed for the Janetta g60 if you didn't have it already and then they went from they spending kind of uh, about 10 euro on the GCC up to spending 20 on the second car in that event then 50 on the third car in that event and then you needed to have the sin maxed before you would get it which was I think we worked out at the time the fact that you, it would cost you effectively around 800 euros worth of actual tokens so like keep in mind that that's the kind of scale you're talking about on the potential for paywalls here is going from your 10 euro to probably 20 euro to 50 to 100 at least like you're talking about if it was to stay like that just uh regarding curator by the way from dragon rampage uh he is a person who takes kind of like a we'd say a different approach to the way yourself and myself play this game ziggy and if people don't know of curator he uh, effectively plays this game and spends quite a lot more money. I think it's fair to say than your average player would, and like so, like sure. where myself, yeah, where myself and Ziggy would try to kind of like go around the edges of stuff and try to avoid spending where possible. Curator is somebody that like frequently spends quite a large amount in this game. So like, uh, he's got a channel on YouTube as well. I'll put a link to that down in the description uh, down underneath here. Cause like, it's really awesome to see that side of the game as well. So if you want to see a channel of a person who like maxes out their cars and aims to gold the cars in every event, uh, definitely check out Curator's channel. Cause like I said, like while I usually try and go like, Hey, you can skimp by on a 99 cent DLC this month. Uh, curator is more a case of hey check out my six star you know gold range of cars so he's definitely like that other end of the kind of spectrum in terms of the way that you play through this game but yeah definitely like appreciate the information there and like i said he's the link to his channel is down below in the uh, description of this video yeah and he's got a great uh tips and tricks video that he put he's it's incredibly useful i got a lot of help out of it um He's definitely a very highly skilled player as well. So we're checking out to see some of his runs. And, uh, you know, he might put a lot of money into the game, but he does give back to the community in the sense that he is 
uh, whatever information he can get from this event, he is sharing it with us. You know, he's kind of paving the way for all of us. So, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, grateful in that like, regard. <laughs> yeah. On, you can find him on the Asphalt Line Discord server as well. Like, and he's never, he never lords it above people. So it's just more a case of, I think it's for personal kind of accomplishment, the fact that he has like that cool carriage and stuff. Like, so it's never a case of like, suck it noobs kind of thing it is a case of like you know check out these things in terms of like yeah that's what i mean like with his videos on his channel i've seen like he has some like i said most of the event cars are just maxed out that's the, what he aims to get out of this game and yeah definitely worth giving a, a check out to that stuff but yeah say with the nerfing then of the rewards of the syndicate coins and the removal of the token based uh relay packs I mean, it's the only way to get those um, syndicate coins is by uh, races if you don't want to spend out cash. But the problem is the fact that, say, like these packs of the, uh, these packs of blueprints for the Mazda Furia, like they're going to cost you 5,000 for effectively two blueprints, which means that it works out at, say, 2.5k per blueprint if you're working that out on the 20% ratio and yeah if you want to unlock that car it means you've got to get 75,000 uh, syndicate coins and given the fact that you're getting 10 syndicate coins for a race that means racing 7,500 times like yeah and you, you can't even do that anyway because once you hit the point cap you can't gain any more of the syndicate coins so it's effectively possible to do it that way yeah, like the, by the free means game, like this is a paywall. Um, like you mentioned it, it's a paywall on day one of an event which is set to run for the next month. Yeah, month plus. I think there's thirty seven days total in the event, so um, everybody's kind of walled out on day one, unless of course there's something that's going to come later. It is something we saw with the Avia event, but um. You know, where, where kind of the pack showed up after a lot of people had already given up on the event if people had 39 out of uh, 55 blueprints. But we, we just don't know if something like that's going to happen again, especially right. with getting the paywall on day one. At least with the Avia event, most people were able to get through quite a few of the stages before they got stuck. It wasn't just right they off the bat, pay $10 or get lost. Yeah. Yeah. That, like, that's the thing. Look, at the moment, just the long and the short of this before we kind of like expand any bit on this at all um my strong advice with this event is to just ignore it like uh, like the way it stands right now i would never ever advise anyone spend that 10 euro on the uh furia because like yeah paywalls come up again immediately afterwards effectively like it isn't a case of you get that and you're free home free like you get that and you get the car at one stars and then you're immediately going to be hitting another paywall also i would advise people ignore it because there's quite a lot of backlash at the moment on the asphalt nine uh discord and twitter and pretty much anywhere else of this on facebook is the exact same thing but yeah like uh we really do rely on kind of other players as well to basically put their foot down and say like no this isn't cool and but to let people know maybe on the asphalt 9 discord server and on the facebook group if you're taking part in those just the fact that like this obviously isn't cool this isn't the way this event should go and like yeah so if this one has been changed so so badly in comparison to the global version of the game like this is probably just going to get way worse so you'd be far far better off in my opinion to just completely effectively ignore this and just yeah go on to the discord server and just be like um you know when does this become fair because right now just do what you can for free which is the first couple of runs i haven't even bothered to actually grind out the stuff that is available for free because i don't see the point in it for like that handful of syndicate coins i'm like that's absolutely insulting to my time in my opinion yeah i played through it uh the mountain cat one stages to where you get uh up to the pin missions and then you get paywalled there so you can't do the pin missions without having the car unlocked and that's kind of where i left it um and i yeah at the point where it turns to utter nonsense <laughs> yeah. yeah and i, I just think won't that's where... play it anymore <laughs> until 
no, one of two things has to happen, things. right? E either something has to change with the event or there needs to be like a, a firm confirmation. And this would be my advice too, right? Because all the stages will be unlocked within seven days. And then you're still going to have a full 30 days to play the event after that. So, you know, if you get confirmation from multiple people saying, oh yeah, I paid the 10 bucks and then I got through the whole rest of the event without hitting another paywall and you're comfortable with the 10 bucks, go ahead. Then you can make your informed decision. But at this point, we can't make an informed decision because for all we know, you're going to just hit another paywall on the next set of stages and possibly another one after that, especially with the rates for the Nika coins being so low and having to rely on RNG for the packs. So it's just not worth it at this point. Um, and it's not worth it to play the hazard two or hazard one stages because they pay out at such a low rate and you have to grind so many of them that it's just a complete waste of time. No, no, and it is just exactly that. It's a waste of time. They, especially when there's no clear path towards the actual car at the end of this. Like say, if this was the way it ran on global, we'd know the fact if it's your 5k for those relay packs and then you're pretty much on the pathway towards the car, as long as you've got the other bits and pieces like the zero uno, say for example. But at the same time here, you have no direct path to the car. Now, minor jump cut to solo storm, but there's two reasons for this. One is the fact that myself and Ziggy started to speculate on the event a small bit uh, following that, and that was recorded on the first day. I just wanted to point out that, uh, yeah, some of that information has changed ever so slightly. Now, one of the things that we talked about was the fact that the amounts paid by a curator on those first bunch of stages. Now, he total payments of in and around 130 euro and hadn't yet secured a pathway through this event the way it's currently running. So just wanted to stress on the fact of like, that first 10 euro absolutely goes nowhere and we speculated the fact that this would just be paywall after paywall and yep the following day after it while i was actually editing the video the next car in this the ford shelby became available and as we kind of suggest in the video it goes from 10 euro for the furia to 20 euro for the shelby and that's probably going to continue for the corvette is going to be down to 50 again just that huge jump for each star and there's still no way to properly progress through this one by playing it because events give you two eight or just effectively not enough syndicate coins so um i decided to truncate it down because yeah i was incredibly tired during the recording of this and towards the end i was quite uh, extra sleepy apologies to ziggy for that and uh yeah i said i would just truncate down our last bit of speculation because i was falling asleep and just shorten it down to the fact of this is just paywall after paywall after paywall yeah there's no point in speculating much more on it unless this event properly changes and like there's a proper announcement about it don't spend any money on this because you're gonna get hit with paywall one which is the furia on day one and then you hit e your next paywall the following like couple of days wait do not pay for this there is no pat for the car keep in mind the fact that this event is supposed to go for the next 35 days admittedly they've even messed this one up because the ford shelby is only available for 25 days because they can't even get dlc packs in the store right hop on game loft a small bit please these events cost lots of money just take five minutes to at least get the days right on the events. This is terrible. And like it's undoable. Who like any whoever thought of the fact that yeah, two syndicate coins for a race as a reward when you need seventy five thousand of them? Like just cop on. <laughs> I can't stress anything else. Like your customers' trust in you right now is zero. <laughs> like the game is getting more and more filled with glitches. We currently have Osaka which is in the game now for over a month or two and it still has horrific performance issues like go into an eight player match drive through that thing crash into some obstacles look at the frame rate it just hangs down like you need to stop like plowing forward and getting worse and worse and worse and just stop take a step back look at the state of the game and be like wait maybe we should try and fix some stuff like, you can still actively crash this game in so many different ways. 
and yeah instead of trying to fix bugs they're just marching forward and marching forward with obviously some sort of a skeleton crew now i mentioned the fact that this holiday advance thing if anyone's wondering like that the first one of these is good but even when we mention that this is a good deal at the same time it comes with 1500 tokens which in the 8096 event didn't guarantee you a car because it was player versus player in this event currently it doesn't guarantee you anything of a car because they're not accepting tokens as payment for this it's just money so yeah like this holiday deal is cool if you think you're going to be playing this game further going forward admittedly the way this event is right now most people are going to get stuck in paywalls on day one day two or day three and yeah just stop playing and then the event runs for 40 days at which point people are going to start playing other stuff on the switch and stop playing this because this is terrible this is how you lose players and like this is how you lose players in mass um yeah new players to the game think about it like you've got your old players to the game who are going into this event with a garage full of stuff and loads of tokens they can't use the cars they have because they just hit a paywall. They can't use the tokens they have because you want money instead of tokens. And for new players, you think a new player is going to play an event where like they're immediately hit with a paywall and where the maximum payout from some of those races is two syndicate coins? And it's like, oh, how many races do I need to do? Oh, 35,000. No. <laughs> like, it's insane. Whoever like decided, hey, maybe I'll shift things up a bit with this event. Just ye. I don't want to say fire somebody, but oh my god, like, what are you doing? But yeah, um, I just wanted to truncate this down to just your. Oh, this is it. This is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. This is how you lose players. Oh, new players coming into the game are gonna see this and go, whoa, nope, that's full of pay play to win nonsense. And yeah existing players who are playing through this are like ha oh, cool garage and tokens i have don't count for anything because i can't get through without a paywall idiots just idiots i'm normally positive about this this event is idiots that's all i'm gonna say idiots sorry just no there's no like maybe do this or maybe do that for this this is a case of like this event needs to be absolutely like thrown into the dumpster that it came out of and just left there realistically <laughs> now myself and ziggy signed off as well with a just again i will say thank you very much to curator for the information and stuff about these stages going from stage one um from stage uh yeah the following stages being revealed and from the extra dlc like this one is absolutely a waste of time and i'm going to stop the video on me being upset but yeah guys um this is absolutely nonsense like uh for the players all i can say is the fact that like genuinely do not spend money on this event the way it's set out you're talking about like from the looks of things this is going to be 30 euro spent in the first couple of days and moving forward you're looking at another 50 so more than likely for that third car so you're talking about if you want to get through the the bare minimum of this you're talking about a payment of somewhere in the region of upwards of um, 80 euro to 100. For that money, you can get any other game on Nintendo Switch, any other triple A game. So uh, do that instead. The button up here for more of my content. More and more of that's not going to be asphalt if this nonsense keeps up. But yeah, indie games over there and a good video for you from YouTube up there. Uh, sorry, like I said, that I truncated off the end of myself and Ziggy's chat. I just didn't feel that it was relevant at speculating about this event in comparison to just being no, not like this.